earlier communicated, the purpose for our webinar is just to reflect and to discuss more about the upcoming CSO forum. And then also for us to be able just to see how we get to prepare for the SCSO forum. But then it's also an opportunity for us to, to talk about the roadmap, like from Addis in, in October. What, what, what is it looking like um, in terms of the processes that are ahead for us? And how do we plug in? How do we engage? Um, how do we get to know who's already engaged and, and at what level are they engaged? And how can we be able to support each other? Um, particularly in making sure that the Beijing Plus 25 process, um, we use it as a moment to re-energize our efforts and to keep focusing on strengthening the women's movement in Africa. 25 years after the Beijing uh, after the adoption of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, what is there for us that we can be able to say that we are celebrating? Are we even celebrating? Um, what are some of the notable progress that we can be able to say this is progress? Uh, what are the gaps? What are the challenges? What are some of the drawbacks? Um, what are some of the things that are pushing back even into the progress that we are talking about and the gains that we'll be speaking to? And so for us this afternoon, in the next couple of minutes, I just want to um, propose that we just highlight some of the key processes that we have already mapped out. Um, and then we'll be giving us an opportunity for us also to contribute. I noticed that we have a very vibrant chat. Um, so I'll be requesting that for us, for anybody who has a question or want to contribute, then they can indicate it in the chat and then we will be able to, to give you an opportunity. So as a moderated webinar conversation, we will start and then we'll just give the highlights and then we'll be able to revert into the chat and then we'll give us an opportunity um, to ask questions, clarifications, and also contributions. Uh, I would love just to start by introducing ourselves in terms of the team that is here with us uh, this afternoon. Um, my name is Rachel Kagoya. I work with FEMNET uh, as the information manager, and I'm happy to be joining. I will also ask my other colleagues who are with me here to also just introduce themselves, um, and then we will proceed. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Vivian Jenga, and I am the consultant who is uh, handling the Beijing Plus 25. Hi everyone, my name is Remarita Chambwa and I'm the Executive Director for FEMNET. Hello, hi, my name is Rochelle from FEMNET, welcome. Good afternoon from Nairobi, my name is Esther Nyawera, I am leading our work with young women and teenage girls. Great. Um, I, I, I can see, I'm trying to see how many of us already, we have 28 people who are logged in. Um, see who are these 28 people? Okay. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll just say your names as it, as it appears from webinar um, and you can just say hi. Thank you very much for everyone who has muted their microphones. And then just a kind reminder for anyone who still hasn't muted, just to keep your um, um, microphone muted until you're given an opportunity to speak. So I'll just give an opportunity to, uh, it just says Essa1, Essa1, if you can just say hello and tell us your name and where, where you're joining us from. Sorry, I think um, there could be a connection problem. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi, my name is Bosha. Um, I am uh, I'm, I'm from ADD International, and I'm joining this call from London. 
Okay, great, great, Mahesh, right. Um, Anika? So we're just saying Hi, our everyone. name and the country where we are um, um, connecting from. You can hear me? Yes. Hi, everyone. My name is Anika. I'm from um, uh, Kenya, Nairobi, and I'm uh, part from the Beijing Youth Task Force. Great, great. Welcome, Anika. There is somebody who says APC to Timize Ahadi. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, my name is Abel Koka from Tanzania. I'm also part of the Beijing Plus 25 Youth Task Force. Great, welcome. Um, then we have Brenda Esiolo, Esolio. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Brenda, yeah, Brenda Esolio Magada. I'm joining in from Nairobi, Kenya with Women Global Network for Reproductive Rights. Thank you. Great, great. Welcome, welcome, Brenda. Um, there is somebody, Bridie, womankind. Where are you connecting us from? Okay, I'll move to the next, Karin Dasa. Hi, everyone. My name is Karin Dasa, and I'm from Cameroon. Welcome from Cameroon. Thank you. Welcome, Karin from Cameroon. And then there's Dan Stanet Macaulay. Hi, everyone. Dan Stanet. I'm a member of Feminet and Zonta International. I'm speaking from Lome at the moment. Welcome, Don from Togo. There's somebody's name is Guest Three. If you can tell us your name and where you're connecting from. Okay, um, oh. we'll move. I think, I'm not sure what mine is reflecting as, but if that's me, uh, my name is Chantal and I am with the Beijing uh, plus 25 Youth Task Force, and I'm also with the Millennium Campus Network. Great. Jane, there are two Janes, so there's a Jane and there's a Jane Anyango. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi. This is Jane Anyango from Nairobi, Kenya. Oh, boy. Josephine, where are you connecting us from? Um, from Kibera in Nairobi, Kenya. We have just a few more to go. Josephine, if you can just say hi and what country you're connecting hi. from. Hi, um, my name is Joseph Mugishagwe. I'm connecting from Tanzania and I work for Umati. I'm not part of the, I, the task force, but I would love to be. I just don't know where it is. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cherewa Asamo. Yes. Hi, my name is Cherewa Asamoa. I work with GCAF, Global Call to Action Against Poverty. I'm the Africa Regional Coordinator and also working on a project called Leave No Woman Behind. Um, we work with women with disabilities in Ghana, Kenya, and Mali. Happy to join the discussion. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, then, Elaine, and I'm kindly requesting is just to say the country, your name, and the country. Elaine Kambrigi. We can't hear you, Ilen. I can see you've unmuted your, your microphone. Okay, maybe we can also see, see hear from MC Garin. Hi, I'm MC and I'm uh, with Humanity and Inclusion, so I'm joining from France. From France. And then we have Mariam. 
Hi, I'm Mariam and I'm joining from Nairobi and I'm uh, working with FemNet on the CSO report. Welcome, welcome Mariam. There's Malin Ochie, guest connecting us from. Malin, can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Hi, Malin. Um, I'm Malin Ochie from Kenya, Nairobi. Okay. Okay, great. There's Mary Akoth. Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Akoth from Kibera. I'm a mentor at Polico, and I'm a Beijing Class 25 Special Ambassador. Great. Great. Mosharaf, welcome. Uh, hello, yes, uh, this is Mosharaf. I work with ADD International, mm. ADD means Action on Disability and Development. And You're connecting us from which country? I'm from uh, UK, from London. Okay, thank you. From Ethiopia, Oba, please just say your name and the country you're connecting from. Oba? Hello, and Patrick? Yes, Oba from Ghana. Ghana. And Patrick? Hey, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, uh, my name is Patrick. I'm I work with the Uganda Youth and the Dolores and Child Forum. I'm connected to Kampala. <laughs> Kampala, Uganda. Yes. Welcome, Patrick. And then there's Rai. Hi, Rai. Hi, Robina. Robina, where are you connecting us from? Let's Rose or Watch. Hi, um, I'm connecting from Nairobi, and my name is Rose or Watch. Welcome, Rose, and there's Virginia. Hi, I'm Virginia uh, Monia, connecting from Nairobi, Kenya. Excellent. Thank you very much. I think it's important for us just to know who um, is already connected to our webinar. Once more, I just want to request for us just to um, keep our microphones muted and we may just help by making sure that we mute all. All you've muted yourself, but don't you hear anything now? We can't hear you. It, just in case you're speaking, we can't hear it all. Hello, I'm not hearing you. If you meet at all, we won't hear you. Hello, can you hear us? Oh, I can hear you.
Rachel, I think we need to turn off our videos for better accessibility. The participants must turn off their videos. I mean, their, their cameras. That's a good because idea. There are so many no. cameras. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, so we are turning off all our video and we are muting. And it's, I will just be giving a brief of the processes that are ahead. Hello, hello. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm hello. Sorry, I'm not hearing you. I think we're, we're, we're actually losing quite some time so um, I think it's better we um, by find out what exactly is happening um, if it's a connection issue maybe you could brief us that it's a connection issue so that we know we can wait in but otherwise we are not hearing anything and uh, it appears like we have already like used half an hour and we're just remaining with less than an hour so yeah yeah i'm completely agree because uh I, for me i think i started from 12 30. No. Oh, no. <clears throat> we have been speaking, but we need an indication whether we can be heard, because when you look at the chat, we are reading that I'm not hearing you. Can you hear us? We can hear you now. Just what you, what you just you. said, Gitchen. We can heard that, but before we were not hearing. Now we can hear you, Gitchen. Fantastic. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. Wait, I can Well, he thought something and the voice has gone again. I think they pressed the mute again.
I think maybe if if you can hear us, uh, Madam Moderator, I would like to advise that maybe the people who are in the same room with you kind of like turn off their 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 connection and like use your like 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 you blow up your microphone and and your speaker so that they can all use the same hear from the same speaker. Maybe you you guys are like all using the same network and you're connected differently, and that's why we can't hear you. Richard, we were here in you before the gentleman next to you came in to to change something. We were here in you just now. I don't know what he did. Now he's gone off again, <laughs> sir. Can you now do? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Great. Thank you very much. We are trying to be technology from this end. Um, I just noted from the chat that many of us were saying that they cannot hear us. So I'll, I'll just continue from where I stopped. And then we'll be able to see you. In the interest of time, what else we can be able to go back to and, and, and repeat. Um, so I talked about the Civil Society Forum. I had shared the dates. The dates for the Civil Society Forum is the 27th of October, and it's going to be in Addis. Most of us already have registered for this year's so forum. Uh, Femnet had circulated uh, a, a, a registration link um, that, was, that closed yesterday. But we have also extended it to the end of the day in view of our webinar conversation uh, today. So in case you have not registered, then it's an opportunity for you to register before the end of the day. There's a disclaimer with the registration. Um, the Civil Society Forum is a self-funded process. And so we're really, really um, recommending uh, for anyone who is already registered, um, um, already has funds, then they can be able to register for the CSO Forum. Now, the CSO Forum will be on the 27th and the 28th, which will be one and a half day, which will now be followed by the experts meeting. And the experts meeting will be on the 28th in the afternoon and the 29th of October and the 30th of October. And then on the 31st of October and the 1st of November, we will have the ministerial meeting. Within the ministerial meeting, is where then we are able to share our feedback as civil society organization, but then we'll also be doing that in the experts meeting. Um, before that, we are coordinating the process of uh, developing the Africa Regional Shadow Report. Um, this year we're calling it the Para Report, but ideally the Para Report is the that is a compilation of civil society and women's rights organizations, um, being able to shadow the government or the, 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 the reports that have already been submitted by the government. Uh, these reports are already accessible and available on the UN Women website and also on the UNECA website. We are told that already 46 countries have submitted their country reports, um, so it's a good opportunity for us as civil society um, to see what has already been submitted by our governments so that even as we develop our uh, parallel report or shadow report, then we are interfacing it uh, with already what has already been um, 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 submitted by our government. And so during the Civil Society Consultation Forum, the dates again, I said it's 27th of October and half day of the 28th of October, we'll have an opportunity to validate our Africa Regional uh, Beijing Class 25 report. The other process once we have um, the, the, the ADIS process will culminate into the CSW, the 64th session of the Commission on the Status of Women, which will be happening in New York next year in March. Uh, again, as some of you know, the theme for the CSW 64 will be looking at the whole appraisal and the whole review process of the Beijing Class 25. So a lot of the recommendations that we'll be getting from the intergovernmental processes in, in Addis 
this month in October. We will be continuing to do our advocacy and our lobbying um, during the CSW. And we'll also be keen to see what are some of the recommendations that are follow through in, in New York. And then the UN women, um, together with the government of Mexico and the government of France, uh, have put together what they're calling the Generation Equality Forums. Um, the Generation Equality Forums uh, are organized to happen in, in Mexico in May next year and in France um, in July. And this will culminate in, in, in September during the UN General Assembly, where we'll, there'll be the adoption of what is being called the Action Coalition. And action coalitions are like commitments that governments will be making in terms of financing the gender equality and women's rights agenda. So again, it's a process for us as civil society, as women's rights organizations, we want to keep an eye on, keep monitoring, contribute, but then also to disrupt and say where are the voices of all of us as women in our different diversities. What is it that we can be able to contribute to that process? Um, alongside that, there's a, alongside the Generation Equality Forum, there's already a team of 21 members, what is being called the Civil Society Advisory Group, um, that is coordinating and doing a lot of the think through um, and making sure that the Generation Equality Forums uh, result to be um, very inclusive, um, but then also very meaningful. Um, and we're being able to reach out to different constituencies um, in our different countries. Um, I, I, I wanted now to shift the conversation um, into the chat box. Um, as we began, we had proposed that we can't hear you. We lost you again. He disconnected. He disconnected. Oh, he disconnected. Mm -hmm. Can you hear us? Can I get yeah. an indication? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Fantastic. Thank yes, you very much. You. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So I want to move the conversation now over to us, um, who are already logged on onto the webinar. Um, in case uh, for anyone who has a, a question, a clarification, or a contribution. And you can just type it on the chat box, and then I'll be able just to um, um, call, call your name out. So I see Cherewa saying the roadmap has been very useful in our planning and coordination. Um, anyone with a question? Yes, we can share the link for the roadmap as, as we are sharing. We'll be able to share that after this. Any other question or contribution? How do we ensure we create a momentum at country level? Very good question, Patrick. Um, how do we ensure we create momentum at country level? Um, one of the one of the one of the processes that is preceded by the regional process, of course, is the national level uh, mobilization. So we envision a process for us, the civil society, bringing together our different constituencies um, and being able to um, to come up with key recommendations that we can be able then to scale them up. Um, at the regional forums and also at the global forums. I think the most important thing is how do we make sure that our different constituencies that we serve um, have an opportunity to also pause and deep reflection uh, of the 25 years of the Beijing platform uh, for action. So I think it's we already have seen um, in Cameroon, um, 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 Zone from uh, women for action, convening young women, convening adolescent women, and being able just to identify some of the critical recommendations that they want to see at the regional level. Any national process that is being led by civil society organizations, we are requesting that you can forward the recommendations uh, to FEMNET, um, which will be very useful as, uh, as, we, as we consolidate the regional uh, parallel report. 
Um, I see Moshe, Moshe, Moshe Raf is asking Generation Equality Forum in Mexico and Paris. for the same for different regions. So we'll be we'll be sending you more details and more information as we understand uh, the Okay. So we'll be sharing more information about Mexico. And um there's somebody whose phone needs muted. And then there's a question what feminist support in registering and understanding which consultation in Addis that will be open to civil society organizations. Um, so I, as Alia shared, Feminet has already uh, shared a link that we are uh, um, asking us to register and we are registering for the civil society forum. Uh, which is going to be on the 27th of October and the 28th half day on the on the 28th of October. Um, and this is for the CSO consultation. Um, the information we have from UNECA is that we, civil society organization, a few of us will be able to participate in the expert meeting and also in the ministerial meeting. And this will be a very critical moment for us just to not only share our critical recommendations, but also to interface with the expert meeting and also the ministerial meeting. So again, like I said, the registration form was closing yesterday, uh, but then we have reopened today so that to factor in for um, some of us who will be in this webinar and may have not gotten the opportunity to register. Um, once again, please remember the, the Civil Society Forum is highly self-funded um, um, process. Um, I think the other question is, could you share with, the, with, the, with if all CSOs will be allowed to attend the expert? I think I've already spoken to that. Um, as part of the Generation Equality Forum, I'd like to see women with disabilities feature more strongly so as to ensure that they are not left out, they are not left behind. That's a good uh, point, Cherewa, and it's one that we also have noted and also um, ensuring even in our selection, even in terms of the people that will be in Addis, that we have a representation. So young women, uh, people with disability, LGBTI. <laughs> older persons, um, um, adolescent girls, uh, young women, so different uh, and diverse groups, um, just making sure that the civil society will not be just a, um, um, a homogeneous group, but will be there in our own diversity. Um, how do we engage the ministerial meeting? Again, like I said, we have already received information from the record. The ministerial uh, segment on the 31st and the 1st uh, of, of, of October and November. Um, we envision an opportunity, yes, to present our key recommendations, but then we also envision an opportunity of having a meeting um, with the minister um, um, interfacing with civil society organizations will be in Addis. Yes, thank you for Karim. Thank you for mentioning the women in conflicts should be remembered. Yes, conflict areas. Yes, we will remember. We will make sure that they are also um, part of the delegation in Addis. Again, I think it's just to say for those of us within our organization um, that can be able to support the different constituencies that we work with, uh, please learn to us a feminist. Um, so that we can be able to make sure that all the different diversity, different the CSO forum consultation. Um, I would like to request there's somebody who has their video on. I think we had agreed as a ground rule that we'll just keep our videos off. We had said that we'll try and put our, our microphones muted. Thank you very much. Um, and then, and then I'm, I'm just now looking again at the chat box just to see whether there's anybody or want to contribute. Um, I see a question from Olive Rwanda. Is there a draft outcome document available already? If not, when can we expect it? Um, yes, there's a process of, um, of coming up with the African parallel uh, report. Uh, which is what we'll be um, validating during our CSO forum um, on the on the 27th and 28th of October. Uh, from that post-society uh, report, 
we will be able to synthesize uh, the key recommendations and which will form our position uh, statement or our position document that we will use for lobby. Uh, we will be sharing this out to all of us. Um, just so that we are also contributing, but then we are also seeing uh, what could have, what could we have left out. Um, I know Mariam is already joined um, in our in our webinar this afternoon. Mariam, is there any information that you'd want to add on term, in terms of the prior report and the position statement? Mariam, are you still with us? Okay, so we'll be sharing more details and more information about the, the, the prior report and the position statement. But yes, before the civil society forum, we will be sharing these um, uh, key recommendations and our key asks. Okay, uh, Esther from Kenya uh, is asking about the dead being so near, when will people know about the status of registration? Um, so the registration, like I had earlier shared, I don't know whether Esther you're joined, we are saying that um, we had closed the registration yesterday, but we have reopened it today, uh, so we have until the end of the day, um, and we are encouraging for self-funded um, um, participants who will be in Addis um, to just indicate so in the registration form. Um, yes. Uh, and then in terms of will the webinar recordings be available? Yes, we are recording the webinar and we'll be sharing the recording um, after the webinar. The CSO convening in regards to CSO coral report. Um, so the Kenyan civil society um, convening is being... Once again, kindly mute the phone. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so is there something I missed with my network? I can't hear you. Somebody can't hear us. Uh, don't worry, we'll be sharing the recording after our webinar. Um, then there's a recommendation. Can family develop a joint advocacy toolkit with key message that we can use at the country level to create momentum? Definitely. Um, like I said, uh, from the regional shadow report, we'll be synthesizing into a position statement that we will definitely share with um, um, a wider civil society and we'll be able to share it out um, um, from, from, from not just the, the ADIS meetings, but also for CSW in, in March, for the Generation Equality Forum in May, and also in July, all the way to September. So I want us to think of this process as being connected and feeding into each other and how we can be able to make sure that we are monitoring here, but then also we are positioning ourselves as civil society, um, identifying who within our government, within the ministries, are uh, following this process, uh, what, what, what is it that we can be able to support um, in terms of the key recommendations that they are already preparing at the national level. Yes, we'll be sharing the recording later. Um, okay. Um, I'm just trying to see whether there's any other question that I need to be responding to, but I look, it looks like we have um, um, covered. Yes, can we have a recording letter on YouTube? Yes, we'll be sharing the recording of our webinar uh, this afternoon. Is there anybody else who wants to contribute or to share anything? Um, before I invite any of my colleagues here in case they want to add anything. Hello. Hello. Yes, uh, I'm Aben Koko from Tanzania. Uh, I wish uh, you have presented a lot of interesting issues which we, if we will be able to coordinate ourselves, we can, uh, we can succeed, especially on a uh, making sure that uh, gender equality is achieved. However, 
we are we normally comes up with the plans which are not uh, looking on uh, various groups in the community especially the young people group so i wanted to ask you how are you how are we going to strategize to make sure that uh, each process we are taking and uh, every stage we are moving forward we are including young people who are forming the majority of the population in our communities in order for them to understand what we are doing what are the commitments which has been made by the decision makers and what kind of recommendation are we pushing forward for them as well to get that ban and make sure that they are holding the decision makers accountable to make gender equality and the women empowerment a reality thank you Thank you, thank you, Abel. That's a very good observation. Um, I, I just wanted to highlight that the UN Women has a process of what they have put together, what they are calling the Youth Task Force, um, the Beijing Plus 25 Youth Task Force. Um, the Youth Task Force is a team of about 30 young women um, and young men um, who already, um, I know Anika is already has joined this um, webinar and we have others who have joined. Um, so it's for us to see how do we connect uh, with members uh, of these youth task force so that even as they represent us um, in this forum, the task force, um, then they are going with our recommendations. They are taking our realities into these uh, platforms and into this forum. So for instance, I already know um, we have a representative from Kenya, like I said, who's joined us in our webinar this afternoon. Uh, we have a youth task force member from Tanzania. Uh, we have one from Uganda. We have Cameroon. We have Egypt, Cameroon, um, Zimbabwe, and Ghana. Um, so for, for, and then, of course, the other sub-regions within the world. So how do we plug in? How do we um, reach out to them? And we will be able to share with you um, details in terms of who are these people, the names and their um, contacts, so that we're able to reach out to them. Um, I think what would be critical is how do we connect the processes so they are not um, happening in silo. So we're not having a civil society forum, a youth forum, um, and different groupings. How are we um, connecting and building onto each other's recommendations um, is, is what would be very critical for us um, at the national level, but also at the regional level. So good observation, Abel, um, in terms of uh, making sure that um, young women, young men are really part embedded into the process of the review process. Um, it is one of the things that the UN, UN women have said that every consultation, every process has to have 50% of young people. So we, it is the, the honor is on us. How do you make sure that we are ensuring that those uh, young people are, are at the forefront of not only Um, so I see a few people saying looking for partial funding. Um, as long as you've registered for fem at the feminist link that was shared, um, some, what somebody will be reverting to you. Actually, Vivian will be responding to us um, in terms of uh, participation for the CSO forum uh, on the 27th of October. Um, Patrick, Kindly put, up, put off your camera and, and mute your, your laptop or computer. It's a moderated webinar. Kindly put off your... I, I tried to do this. Uh, the lady in blue, if you can kindly put off your camera. Yeah. Um, so, Patrick, you said we've not seen deliberate effort by UN Women Country Office to support country level engagement for Beijing at country level. Can feminine push for this? Like we have seen UNFPA country offices support country level engagement for ICPD and 25. A good observation, Patrick. We have actually been having conversations with the UN Women, and we will make sure that we also um, continue um, um, pushing for this in terms of how is it that they're really um, engaging um, and leveraging on the um, numerous expertise at the national level uh, from different civil society organizations and how that is informing uh, the whole review process from national all the way to global. So good observation, Patrick.
question? Do you want to say anything? Hello. I'm just excited that all of you found time to join us. We really appreciate. And uh, this is just in terms of logistics. For those who will be traveling to Addis Ababa, please feel free. Uh, those who had indicated in the phone that they have funding, that they would like us to book for them accommodation, please feel free to continue engaging with us. And uh, we'll also share all the information that uh, you may need and require. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Rochelle. I'm just looking across the table to see whether any of, of my other colleagues wants to add anything. Um, and then I'm also just going back to the chat box. Um, I can see Cherewa. Um, um, I don't know, before Cherewa, I think Olive is asking, how long do you advise us to stay in Addis, given that some consultations are close to civil society organizations? Um, we we envision that there will be the civil society forum, like I said, on the 27th and the 28th. Um, we'll be able to be able to identify how many uh, civil society slots we'll be able to get for the experts meeting and also for the ministerial meeting. And so only from Rwanda, uh, we will be able to give you back more information. Uh, one of my colleagues is already um, 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 at UNECA, just getting more information. So as soon as we get more details um, in terms of how accessible the different uh, meetings will be, we'll be able to advise. Um, and so as we watch out, watch out on, we'll be communicating on the Beijing Plus 25 list staff. Uh, we'll also be sharing more information on email. But that's a good, that's a good question. Um, for now, we envision it's just a forum for the civil society forum, but we still don't have clarity how many will be staying on for the experts meeting, how many will be staying on for the ministerial meeting. And then what is the structure, what structure is the CSO forum going to take? Um, the civil society forum structure will be sharing with us the program. Um, like I said, Feminet together with the NGO CSW Africa members, and also what we are calling the African Reference Group, uh, putting together a program um, in terms of making sure that the consultations um, are very, very um, reflective and very honest um, in terms of getting recommendations um, that will move um, the process forward. So like we say, 25 years after the adoption of the Beijing Declaration for Action, um, what are those things that are still holding us behind? Um, the, the platform has been lauded by most of us as a blueprint for achieving gender equality and women's rights and women's empowerment and issues to do with peace and sustainability the development. Uh, so what are the struggles? What are the challenges? What are the things that are pulling us back? And so the consultative forum uh, is looking into having those honest, candid conversations um, and then being very bold in making our recommendations. Um, so we'll be sharing with you more details about the, the forum probably uh, by next week um, in terms of also sharing the program. Um, ideally, we envision that for, for, for those who are adding but then also those who will not be in Addis, how do we uh, follow the process, how do we contribute to the process um, on, online? So for instance, engaging on, um, online, but then also supporting in terms of contributing to the process out to us in terms of key recommendations. Um, so we'll be sharing the position statement, the, the prior report, and an opportunity for all, us, all of us to have our voices um, included in, in, those, in, those, in those processes. Um, then the Garin is asking, do we have updates regarding the accessibility of the consultative meetings? I think we've already uh, responded to that, that we'll be getting more details and we'll be sharing with you. As of now, uh, what we know is that we have slots for the experts meeting, we have slots for the ministerial, but we're still looking to see how many, what is the number that we can be able to have um, in Addis. Um, yes, we've not received the program outline, Sherewa will be sharing that by next week, like I said. And then when we expect to hear on the registration, by next week, we will be able to revert back um, in terms of those who have already registered under FEMNET. Um, Karin, Karin that's asking strategies in engaging grassroots women in the spirit of leaving no one behind. 
Yes, Karine. Yes, Karine. Um, um, like I said, in our criteria, we're very intentional in making sure that the civil society forum um, will be um, a one that is very inclusive, one that is really um, um, bringing different um, constituencies um, and sharing their observations and recommendations for the review process. Um, and before the civil society forum, I think um, Abel is asking, one minute, I read it for us. Abel is asking before the CSO forum, how are we mobilizing civil society and other stakeholders in our countries to analyze the government report um, and come up with solid observations uh, beforehand? Um, I think we had already we had already responded to that in terms of just saying it's for us, for civil society organizations at the national level um, to bring together our constituents. And I know that I had already alluded to Cameroon that has already been doing that. Um, we have um, we have Cameroon that has done that, we have Zimbabwe, we have Uganda, we have Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, and Tanzania. Um, and, and, and we're saying even now, there's still an opportunity for, for us and for you as civil society to reach out to different constituency and any key recommendations or key observations, uh, please feel free uh, to share. I'll be typing an email um, um, on this chat box. Um, um, and this email is what you can then just share any feedback, any recommendations that you receive. Um, ladies, can you please put off your video for better reception for all of us? <laughs> okay, let me try uh, um, and see. Uh, I think that's it. Your video is off. Is that better? Okay. Um, and anyone else? I think there's somebody else who has their video still on. If you can kindly hear us and if you can kindly just um, put off your video, that will be really helpful for um, and improving our reception. Then um, there's somebody who has the main channel for communication that Feminet is using to the Lisa visit emails. Um, so we are using LISA. We have a LISA for Beijing uh, Plus 25. Uh, we are also using a web page. We are also using a web page in the group um, 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 that we will be regularly posting um, updates. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're just typing an email, and in that email is where we'll be able um, just to send any, in case you wanted to be added to the list of, so that you get regular updates, um, and then also we'll be sharing with us the link. Um, the um, one minute, one minute. Kuono, Kuono is asking, Rachel, could you give her also the update of West Africa to those from this um, region? Um, Kafui, are you, on, are you there, Kafui? Oui, I, I am here. Okay, would you want just to give us a small update from the webinar yesterday? Welcome. Yeah, no, the, the webinar yesterday was a, a, a quite a disaster. We cannot hear each other. We need to think. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, as uh, to, to find another way to, to communicate. And I think that uh, we agree that uh, in two days' time, we need to convene another webinar. So I think that uh, um, Rachel is working on that. I will hear from that. Now, uh, concerning the, the consultation in West Africa country, we share with you some report. There is uh, in quite all the country a process going on. I know that the Burkina Faso has last week a national consultation of TSO. They come with the report. We are waiting for the, to communicate the, the report to us, so we send it to you. Uh, Benin has already done the report, and we send it also to you yesterday. Uh, Niger is doing the same. They have a consultation. And Mali, the same. Togo has also their consultation. And... Uh, um, Ghana, we share the Ghana report with you, and we are doing the consolidate one for West Africa. 
So maybe what we can do is like uh, I can send the the contact of those in charge of those consultation in the country. So anyone from this country that feel that is left out can reach out to those uh, in charge and give the contribution to be uh, integrated in the report. Great, great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Kafui, for that update and, and really apologies for that. I think my colleague, Rachel, will be liaising with you um, just to see what it is that we can be able maybe pull maybe by the end of the week or early next week um, in terms of, um, of having another webinar or even just sharing the key highlights um, that we are having from um, the various conversations we have this afternoon. But then also noting of what you said in terms of the countries that also already have been um, national level consultative process. And yes, this will be feeding into the regional process and to the global process. So thank you very much. I, we have shared the email uh, for those of us who would want just to be added to the list of or want more information. Um, uh, my colleague Vivian, who is using the Beijing 25 Africa at femnet.or.ke, will be sharing with us most of these documents and other information. Um, I see a question about will there be a webcast in Addis? Um, Lilian Kambirigi, um, that would be a fantastic idea. Uh, this is just that in Addis, sometimes the internet can be a bit shaky. Uh, but we will try and work around with our communications team to see what it is that we can be able to uh, probably have um, online engagement on Twitter or Facebook, uh, maybe Facebook Live will be able to advise more. But yes, good suggestion for our webcast, particularly for those of us who are not been added. Um, <laughs> Patrick, you asked something about refugee, but I did not answer. Wow, let me go back and see what you asked, the refugees. <laughs> what did you say? Mm, oh. Are there some messages I'm not getting? Okay. Yes, and then also um, seeing the, the recommendation of using Zoom. So we'll also try Zoom next time. Um, yes, we'll, add, we'll, we'll definitely um, try to keep improving, particularly also so that we can beat our internet connectivity and the various challenges that comes with um, connection. Um, then Esther is saying, you mentioned that Kenya CSO have submitted the report. Did I get that right? Yes, Kenya, um, um, Kenya government, actually Esther, the Kenya government has submitted their report to UNECA. Um, the civil society that are leading the process for the prior report for Kenya um, is cruel. Um, um, for the prior report will be uh, cruel and feed that Kenya and we'll be able to, we can be able to give you more information about that. Okay, um, I don't, oh yeah, there was a question about refugee. Patrick, can you post again? I'm, I'm trying to flip up, but I can't see the question you asked about refugee. So this is the end. I kind of feel like it's like some of the messages are not being. Sent. Just ask it instead of. Uh... Can I yes, you can ask, one but one yes, you can ask. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I, I'm, I'm just wondering, um, in all this conversation, uh, how we're going to make sure that um, refugee voices of refugee young women, um, women, adolescent girls, and refugee communities are well represented. Um, I, I come from a country where we have we we have like almost two million refugees. And we, 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 my organization actually also does some work with refugee communities. Just so I'm just wondering, how do we make sure that uh, fragile settings and uh, refugee communities and host communities are fully represented? What, 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 what does Feminit have in place to make sure that we don't miss out on some of the of the issues in all these conversations? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Um, very, very. A good question. Um, I, I would, I would, I would say again. Like I said, we have reopened the registration form. Uh, if you can kindly identify or invite um, some of the constituencies that we're working with, um, and particularly those who can be able to support, um, 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 like your organization. If your organization can be able to support some of them to be in Addis, I would really, really, really propose that you register them. Um, on that registration link. 
um, and then we'll be able to, to as we do our selection in this week and next week, uh, we'll be making sure that um, um, it's very, very inclusive. And, and, and I think this is something I just want to reiterate again and again. Uh, we want to make sure that the civil society consultative forum is really diverse and brings um, different constituencies in the room um, um, to, to, to contribute, but then also to, 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 to give their own recommendations um, to the review process. Um, again, in the whole spirit of leaving no one behind. So yes, refugees, uh, kindly, if, particularly if a trick of your organization can support kindly, uh, please register them into that link. Okay, um, and then I see, need to add some information. Okay, I see Esther saying we are planning for a young women webinar on the 15th next week, and we're welcoming all the young women led or focus organizations to join. I think now we are uh, getting to a point of just sharing more information. Um, Esther, uh, maybe you can share more details. Can we give you a minute just to share more details? About the Young Women webinar next week? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Rachel. So, some uh, young women in Africa and some other young women-led organization came together and we felt that then we need to have a webinar where we can be able to talk about our, the recommendations that we feel that needs to really stand out within the, the conversation. And also to just also share out what has changed, you know, and what do we think that they need, the government needs to commit to moving forward post, uh, in regards to the whole Beijing Plus 25. So I'll share out a poster. We started this conversation after the regional uh, consultation from FEMNET that we attended. So we, are, we already have a poster. I'm going to share it with you. It's going to be next week on Tuesday. And in that forum, we are hoping to get as many young women voices as possible so that then we can come up with a report that we can also share with the FEMNET for it to be included in the larger CSO regional report in terms of this is what the young women are saying into focusing on the next implementation period of Beijing Plus 25. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Great. Thank you very much, Esther. Um, and then I think I take note of what you said. You'll share the poster. So once you do, we'll be able to share it out. Um, I think just to reiterate again, if you are not um, um, on the list for the Beijing 25 uh, by Feminist, you can kindly send your email to the email we have put on that chat box, and then we'll be able to send you the LISA. Um, LISA is one way that we are using to share regular updates, um, even as we leverage on the website and other social media platforms. Um, and then also um, um, uh, uh, the, uh, the webinar um, um, is a way of just sharing information and giving updates of where we are at. I see no more questions and I see no more contributions. Uh, I just want to really um, then um, come close to uh, the end of our webinar. And I just want to use this opportunity to really appreciate all of us. Um, I already see that like we already 36, at some point I saw we already 37. And really just to appreciate each one of us uh, for the commitment, but then also for the opportunity just to join this webinar um, and be able to see what are the spaces, what are the um, platforms that we can leverage on. Um, again, I think just to reiterate and to say, um, before we go to the regional and global, uh, the national level advocacy is very critical in terms of consolidating um, our key asks and the key voices of the different constituencies um, in the spirit of leaving no one behind. So whatever constituencies that we are able um, to pull out voices, pull out um, um, the vision and the dreams that we have in our countries, uh, that will be critical in shaping the regional and the global outcomes. Um, and then again, just to say that we as FEMNET are looking at this opportunity uh, for the review process as an opportunity to really push for real action 
but also to use it as a platform for holding our governments accountable um, to the promises and the spirit of the Beijing Platform for Action. Um, and finally, yes, it's an, also another opportunity to strengthen the women's movement in Africa. Um, an opportunity really to get to know what's happening in our different countries, uh, what are some of the things that we can identify and say, these are some of the progress um, and, and what are some of the persistent challenges and what is it that we need to do collectively and also individually. Uh, once again, I want to appreciate each one of us. Um, I see there are a few people who are saying, can I take the floor? I think, Kapwe, do you want to take the floor? Hello, Kapwe, are you still there? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just uh, two, two more information. I want to, yeah, two more information to to share with uh, the people in the webinar. Uh, just to re do, to recall them that the advisory working group is still open. They can they can register so they can participate to the uh, discussion online with uh, New York uh, every two weeks to get also updates. And also, uh, if they think that there are some organizations that are left out, they can, they can connect them and tell them to send their, their contact so we can reach out to them. And last thing, if they can share with us some idea on how best we can, we can interact to make sure that we, no, we leave no one behind, they can share with us. This is the two, the two issue I want to share also. Thank you. Great, great. Thank Hello. you, thank you, Kafui. Um, yes, Hello. who is this? Sorry. Yes, uh, this, this is Belinda from Action Aid Zambia. We are joining late Hi, with a colleague from NGO CC. We had difficulties Hi. in connectivity. Action okay. Aid Zambia. So Okay, yes. thank you for joining Belinda. So we have recorded our after. webinar and we'll be sharing okay. the link after this. Yes, okay. we'll be sharing the link. Okay. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to also find out. We wanted to register for the meeting that will be in Addis, and I know the deadline is was yesterday. Is it still yes. possible to register for that? Yes, that, that, yes, Belinda. We reopened. It was actually yesterday we reopened it, so you have until the end of today. And please can okay, thank um, you so much. At the end of the day. Yes. Okay. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, okay, and then, then and then. Is that Belinda? Yes, please. Um, um I, I, I think I've just been yes, I'm just been reminded here to say that we if you in case you have um you can support more young women um from different different diverse groups, um my colleague okay. Rachel will also be reaching out to you if you can kindly share okay. with us your email. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi, is that yeah. Vivian? Hello? Um you Hello, Hello yes. Vivian, is yes. that Vivian? Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, I just want to just to find. Hello. Yes, Hello. I want to find. This is uh, Mendai from NGO CC Zambia. Hello. Hmm. Hello. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can hear you. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. I'd um, written an email. I wanted to find out what is the deadline. When is the deadline for the submission of the parallel reports? The, it's, uh, the deadline is on it's this Friday by COB, close of business. Okay, okay. so that's the deadline for submission of prior report this Friday by end of business. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, cheers, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. We want to say um, good afternoon and for those who are saying good morning, we also want to say good morning. And yeah, once again, yes. thank you for joining us. Yes, and be, be, before I think I just want to add to what uh, Kathy shared. There's a need for us to have that link or have a platform where we can continue to share ideas and contribute to the process and to ensure that the voices of those who are left behind, especially in this process, will be captured and contribute to the discussion. And um, also, I, I know the planning is ongoing in terms of the outline of the program. But if there will be an opportunity to make input into the program, I think it will be very useful before we go into the CSO forum on the 27 and 28. 
so that's that's my contribution to and also my input to the discussion. Thank you, Charewa. That's noted. And that's yeah, we'll be we'll be sharing with you the link um and, and, and regular updates as we receive them. Okay, um, so I think, is there anyone else that I do not want to lock out because we still have like five minutes? Is there anyone else um, before we say our final goodbyes? That's and thank you for everyone who, who has posted their emails, their cell phone numbers, uh, we'll be getting in touch. Hello. Hi. Uh, for the sake of us who struggle to join and we joined in late, are you able just to give us just a, a synopsis or a summary of what was discussed in the last five minutes for our benefit? What are some of the takeout <laughs> points that we can we can pick from the discussion? Wenda. Is this Wenda? Wendai. 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 So Wendai, what we have is that this is a recorded webinar. So we'll be sharing okay. the link of the webinar. Um, okay. um, um, yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking um, how to summarize what we've been saying in the last one and a half hours. Um, I think it would uh -huh. be better for us just to share the, the, the link. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Bye, everyone. Good afternoon and good morning. Bye. Thank you. And good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.